One of the most common questions we hear when people encounter the idea of the flat earth and the notion of a conspiracy to convince everyone that the earth is a globe when it's not is you know, why? Why would they why would they lie about the earth? Why would they come up with something so big? Why would they go to such great lengths to perpetrate all these lies about space stations and moon missions and everything else? What's the point of it? Why would they lie? And on a certain level, I think the answer can almost be summed up by a single word. Transcendence. We are at a, at a time in history where we can change the world. What do we want to pass on to future generations? That we just stayed here on Earth, that we didn't look out to find out where we come from and are we alone? No, we want to pass on this joy, this excitement. When a nation dreams big, everything falls into place. Beyond the horizon, beyond the horizon, over the next hill, over the next hill. That's where we make discoveries. That's the next frontier. It is in us to look farther and deeper. It's deep within us. That is why we are all here. Over the next hill, beyond the horizon. Dream of tomorrow, tomorrow. Long for the open seas. All for this adventure. Dream big. Dream big, dream of tomorrow, tomorrow, all oh, 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 for the open seas, for the open seas. There are lots of huge frozen worlds caught beyond Neptune, Neptune, huge frozen worlds. Seek out these other worlds. Hundreds of other worlds caught beyond Neptune, Neptune, caught beyond Neptune, Neptune. Seek out these other worlds. Audacious visions have the power to alter mind states, to change assumptions about what is possible. Beyond the horizon, beyond the horizon over, the next hill, over the next hill, that's where we make discoveries, that's the next frontier. It is in us to look farther and deeper, it's deep within us, that is why we are all here, over the next hill, beyond the horizon. If we are to discover life on another world, it will change the way everyone feels about what it is to be a living thing in the cosmos. Is the virus alive? Is the crystal alive? Does life need this? Does life need liquid water? Is the virus alive? Does life have metabolism? Does life need life need life need life need this? Is the virus alive? Is the crystal alive? They're ask, 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 asking these questions. Working together, I claim we can change the world. Change the world. There's a just tremendously exciting prospect called solar sailing, and it works exactly as uh, an ordinary sailboat does. It takes you to where you want to go. It's a whole new kind of idea. It travels on the wind from the sun. From the sun. It takes you to where you want to go. It's a whole new kind of idea. It travels on the wind from the sun. From the sun. These dreams prevail in the citizens' ambitions. It is time to set sail for the 21st century. Beyond the horizon, beyond the horizon over the next hill, that's where we make discoveries. That's the next frontier. It is in us to look farther and deeper. It's deep within us. 
just able to finally step back and look at all of it from that perspective, it becomes really easy to see how it's all part of the same thing. It's all part of the same message. This is the secular religion, quote unquote, of the coming one world system. This is the Mystery Babylon Gospel. This is the Luciferian Ideal. This is the, the transhumanist dream. This is the call to the singularity. This is the the yearning for ascension, the desire to become like God. The vision to become one with the universe. The message of using technology to further our own human evolution. The idea that science and quantum physics reveals the mystical truths of monism all along and so on and so forth it's all one thing space the copernican universe the quantum theory the technological singularity exploring space how to interface consciousness with the digital realm it is all one agenda. This is not even a tenuous connection to be making at this point because it's being made for us right before our eyes right now with figures like Elon Musk who is on the one hand the figure behind SpaceX and taking us into this supposed new chapter of the space age you know, the, the private company billionaire backed corporate space age but at the same time he's saying that we all need to embrace the singularity in him and embrace the idea of merging with technology so that AI doesn't surpass us. I mean, there in just that one example of alone, you see both narratives being completely interwoven. And we're seeing this more and more everywhere you look, if only you have the willingness to see it. 